Welcome to part six of our dog kennel build. In today's video, we're gonna be putting up the rafters, the fascia, the soffits. It's gonna to come together really quickly. Enjoy. So what the heck does building a dog kennel have to do with homesteading? Well, quite a bit. We're using the dog kennel to help support our homestead. It's another homestead business and we get quite asked quite a bit on social media, how do you afford your homestead? Well, this is one of the ways we're going to help pay for our homestead. Also, as newer homesteaders going on year three here, we noticed that uh, becoming a homesteader requires a lot of building projects. So we like to share that journey with others and uh, here we go. So to start off today, we're cutting all of the rafters for the dog kennel roof. We've used our Google SketchUp drawings to get all of the angles and once we started cutting everything goes pretty quickly. The dog kennels on the other end of our property way too far to pull an extension cord over so we're using this little blue generator you see here I actually got this from Harbor Freight a few years ago and it's uh, it's cheap but it actually works really well so this is the back of the dog kennel there's going to be four little doggy doors back here it's going to be fenced in and uh, this is where the dogs will be able to come outside so we're putting up some pretty large two by sixes here this header is going to hold the weight of the roof so it has to be pretty big So the rafters you saw us cutting earlier, we also cut a little bird's mouth into, which will sit on the top of the header here. So you can kind of see that it's here, boom, 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 each of the rafters are going to rest up here. Now we're putting up the ridge beam, and we made a little spacer to go in between each rafter, and it's going up pretty quickly now. Google SketchUp really helps to make sure everything is cut to the right size and angle. With all the rafters completed, we can start to put up the particle board sheets. Securing these all down with screws, it really tightens up the whole structure. There's still a little bit of a wobble to it when I'm going up and down the ladder here, but once these uh, particle board sheets are down, everything's nice and secure and tight. While putting up this final piece of particle board, I realized I don't like how it looks right here. We really should have put in an overhang. So we ended up doing one after the fact. Using two by sixes, we built a one foot overhang and we built it in sections on the ground so it'd be easier to lift up and then secured it in place with some big uh, leg bolts and I think I had some four inch screws as well that we put through there. On this opposite side, I built the overhang, but I left the front board off. This way it was lighter and easier to get my screw gun in there to screw everything in. And then I just put the front board on at the end. Now that the overhangs are secured, I'm adding some drip edge onto the front. And I'm using a little spacer board here to make sure it's out far enough because we don't have the fascia board painted yet. Now we've got some tar paper installed just in case we get any rain before we get the Enduro roofing up. Now we have the fascia board painted and we're starting to install it. Putting it on the sides as well. The time goes by fast, uh, we're out of daylight and have to start up again the next day. 
We're also experimenting with some night time-lapse photography, which you can see here. I'm going to do a tutorial on our YouTube channel on that shortly. New day, we had to make another run to Menards to pick up some more J-channel and some soffit material, and it was a pretty tight ride getting home. So we bought some vented vinyl soffit material, and it goes up pretty nicely. We have some J-channel on one side as a track and some F-channel on the other side to hold it in place, and then we cut it down to size and slide it in there. The vents will keep some nice air circulation so we don't end up with ice dams. We get a lot of snow here in Wisconsin. Now I'm doing the same here on the overhang, putting the track up, measuring and cutting the final soffit material, and then again it just slides into place. Here I uh, overextended on the channel and just cut it in place just to make sure it was exact. I was working by myself this day and it was kind of hard to, to measure that distance by myself. So this worked out well and once I slide the soffit material in, I just bend the edge of the channel over to hold it in place and then I'll put another piece of J-channel here on the end to clean it up and also hold it in place. So we're running out of daylight, but we got the front soffits on as well. You guys have to check out our next video. Here's a sneak preview. I'm editing it right now. We're going to put all the siding up. It's going to come together really quickly. I had to bring in the reinforcements for this one. Really fun video. Hope you guys subscribe, leave a comment down below, and Seriously, check back soon stop. as we finish the dog kennel build. Stop! <laughs>